Hi guys, this video is just going to be some b-roll because I have some updates ready to go and share with you guys, but it didn't really feel right to post this week. And you know the panic's bad when I can't find a joke to make about it, or rather can't find the laughter at the joke that I can make about it. And I just couldn't find a way to just come back on here as though nothing was happening. So we're gonna have some words, me and you, right now. As many of us did, I had a large mix of emotions this week. And with the platform that I have, I was very lost with whether to lift people up with positivity and hope as I try to do in the darkest situations here, or acknowledge that, hey man, this fucking sucks, and we're really, really pissed about it, and that's valid. And then I realized I couldn't decide because I, too, was caught in the middle of those. But maybe we can be bitter and angry and not give up all at the same time. Let that anger fuel that hope. I also sat the majority of the time with the realization that despite my own personal disabilities, I am still one of the lucky ones. And the truth in that is enraging but it is truth. I am a white woman married to a white man, and that alone gives me security and safety that I am not owed above anybody else. And so I didn't want to take away from any voices that deserve to be heard, but saying nothing didn't sound right either. So after I reached out to my loved ones to check in on them, I started reading this book and wow. So maybe we don't always need to speak, Maybe sometimes we just need to listen. Maybe sometimes we just need to lift up the voices that need to be heard. But I wanted you guys to know that this is a safe place for you. Sometimes hope isn't this beautiful thing, but a necessity. Sometimes hope is just the only way forward when you don't have any other option. And sometimes you can be angry and bitter at hope. Sometimes hope is not your friend, but it is the only option. So I've been trying to find a way to cope that doesn't take away from anybody else. And pretty recently, Mary had recommended that I write a book. Before all of this, I was a songwriter and singer. And writing is probably my deepest passion, but I didn't feel like I would find the time anywhere to write an entire book anytime soon. And then it dawned on me that there are two sides of me that are constantly at war with themselves. It is my light and my dark, and despite my best efforts, I will always be both of those things together. I choose to share with you guys the more uplifting side of the things that I do because there is already an abundance of that perspective out there. I wanted to fill in the gap, but in doing so, I left out a part of me. So that suggestion to write a book stuck with me, but I have decided that I know how I'm going to do it. It'll be an autobiography in sorts, but it's going to be a collection and series of poems from the two different perspectives that my eyes see things from and that constant battle within. Now this was something that I was just going to do for myself to help my own self cope behind the scenes, but then something dawned on me and a little birdie reminded me that it is panic and serotonin. One does not exist without the other. So while I will continue posting the updates on the rescue and everything going on because that's important for them and for you guys to find a bit of joy in your day, I just felt it was important to say something first and remind you guys that your feelings are valid and you don't have to feel hopeful right now, but pick up a small piece of your soul whatever that may be. Do it because nobody else is going to do it for you. Not to prove anything, but to do it out of spite if you must. And while you still can. And remind ourselves of a simple mantra of someone that I know would want us to still keep fighting today. And what'd you try to do again today? What did you try to do again today? Die! What are we not going to try and do again tomorrow? We're not going to die. Okay, cool. Are you looking for food? What? 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 Is it excuse you?